Leaving a toxic environment sounds easy. Once you see it's toxic, just walk away and get the hell out of there. But for some of us, some of us who may have been in cults or who may have been in a toxic family or toxic friendship, toxic relationship, it isn't that easy. And so for this episode, I want to share with you my story of being rejected, being shunned, being neglected, and feeling hated by the people whom I thought loved me. Because once I started opening my eyes and seeing that it was a cult, it started making sense. But still, the pain is there, the pain of being abandoned, the pain of being rejected, hated. It's very painful. So stay tuned as I share with you the story of my life. For years, my life was held hostage by what that cult had programmed me to believe. They programmed me to believe that I'm good for nothing, worth nothing, that anything that I touch, anything that I do outside of the group is going to be cursed and that my life is going to be a curse, that my family's life is going to be a curse and that I'll only receive blessings if I join the group again. That mentality was so dark that when I was alone back home after leaving the group, I didn't trust myself. And all that echoed in my mind was all of these curses that they brought upon me. All of that looking down that that they trained us to do. They, they trained us to look down on ourselves. They trained us to not trust ourselves. They trained us to do only what they commanded. And so I was a slave. I was a slave to them. And leaving the movement, I was plagued with with those words, you're not good enough. You're good for nothing. You're worth nothing. It's a plague. And it circulated around my mind, in my mind. And I was bothered by that thinking of what are they saying about me what are they feeling about me i miss them these were my friends for over a decade i miss them but they don't want to talk to me my life is worth nothing now i want my life to end god please take my life away i don't i don't belong in this world because my life is a curse i don't want my family to be cursed so just take my life away already that was the darkness of my of my thoughts. I didn't want to exist. But you know what helped me get out of there? Was to stop thinking about their mentality. And you know what? They probably still do talk toxically about me. They probably still do talk negatively about myself and other members. But you know what? I had to wake up. And to decide that I am not going to allow their words, their toxicity to take my life to take my life hostage anymore. I want my freaking life back. And you know, sadly, I had some of the best friends there. And it's painful because I know that they're not gonna talk to me. But you know what? That's fine. Even though th- these relationships meant so much. It's fine because I know I'm worth more than what they taught me. They say I'm worth nothing. They say I'm I'm worthless. That's not true. And I had to train my mind to understand that there is something beautiful in living life to the full. There is something beautiful about taking one's life back. And even though I don't have my life back entirely to the full, this journey that I'm on, I wish I had started sooner. I wish that I had started this journey sooner sooner of not giving a crap about what they think. And there might be other cult survivors who have it, I mean, 
definitely, definitely, there are people who have it worse. There are people who have it different. And so it's, 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 I'm not trying to preach, but I, I'm just trying to also understand how it must feel for them when their families don't talk to them. Because there are some cult members, ex-cult members, and their families are still entirely in the cult. And I haven't experienced that. I'm thankful that my parents weren't in the cult and that when I came out, they were very supportive. But there are people out there who don't have that. But let me say this, that when I left, my family was the cult, if that makes sense, because I, I had been there for 10 years, actually 11 years. So they were my family. I was always bothered by the feelings that, you know what, they don't love me. They don't even pray for me. But you know what? I woke up and it was like, you know what? I got to take my life back. You know what? Life is full of shit. Life is dark. But I don't want that darkness to overcome me. I want to get through this darkness. I want to rise above that darkness. And you know what actually helped me out was, number one, reading books. Reading books helped me to open my mind and open my heart to the reality that it is beautiful to fantasize. It is beautiful to have an imagination for something good, to look forward to something good in life, to be hopeful. And I'm not talking about false hope. I'm just talking about the hope that I can do something with my life because I can't control them. I can't control the negativity of other people. But I can control my life. I can make decisions. And reading these fantasy books, reading these fictions or memoirs, autobiographies, it really opened my mind to see the seeing these characters in these stories go through adversity. Seeing them triumph and rise above. That was so freaking inspirational. And so what I started doing, that reading books helped me to see that the world wasn't all evil. Because the cult, they wanted us to believe that only they are good. And that the world, everyone outside is evil and that they're going to bring you curses. But So reading books opened my mind to, to these different characters and I started to relate to them. Because they're going through adversity. They're going through trials. But yet they don't give up. Depending on the book of course. And then second. Which helped me to get out of this loneliness. To get out of this. Because I still embrace that us versus them mentality. It took a long ass time. But reading books helped me out so much. To seeing the beauty in different characters. And then the second thing was traveling. Because now after reading books. I started kind of like that ice around me started melting off. And now I the first like adventure I had was to Atlanta. I just got a ticket and was like, hey, mom, dad, peace out. And they were like, well, where are you going? I'm going to Atlanta. What are you going to do in Atlanta? I don't know. I'm just going to go for an adventure. And that's what I did. And you know what I learned? <laughs> what I learned from real life is that not everyone is evil. Not everyone is bad. Yes, there are bad people in the world, but traveling opened my eyes to different cultures, different people, something different. Because my, the way we're programmed was to believe that once you're in the city, once you're in a different place, anywhere outside of the group, you have to look down. Even the air of the city, you want it to be out of your lungs because the only safe place in the world is inside the cult compound. So traveling opened my mind, opened my heart to the beauty of, of humanity. And yeah, of course, we know there's bad people out there. But I'm just, I'm just wanting, wanting to share with you how I was able to deconstruct because the cult wants you to be alone. Once you're out of the cult, they want you to feel that darkness. They want you to feel that shame. And they even get your family to go against you. In my case, they got you know my best friends to go against me. But then 
after starting to take back my life, after starting to read books, after I started traveling, I started realizing that, you know what? If they're going to do that, let them. But for me, I'm going to live my life. I don't want that darkness anymore to control my life. I'm going to live the best damn life that I can. And yes, there are going to be struggles. Yes, there are going to be heartaches. But I don't have to fall into that toxicity of hatred, which these religious end times cults, they preach. They preach a gospel of hate. I'm not going to fall for that anymore. I want light in my life. I want beauty. I want the beauty of living my life to the full. It's been a hard journey. And yes, I've been through therapy. I've been through so many exercises, activities. But it's a journey which I wish I had started sooner. And so that that's it for today. I just wanted to share my healing journey and how reading books, traveling, getting away has helped me in taking my life back because it's one hell of a dark process. But you know what? Like I said, I wish I had started that process sooner. But hey, I'm grateful to be on this journey because all that crap that they say, all that crap that they do, the shunning, the shaming, I'm not going to let it ruin my life. Instead, I choose to live my life and to to live my life as best as I can. And honestly, I want to be a good person. I want to do good things. The cult makes you think that you can't do anything good if you're away from them. But you know what? That's full of lies. We have the choice to take our life back. Will you join me? That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this episode from the Truth That Heals podcast. I'm your host, Ryan Anthony Hernandez. And if you would like, please subscribe to my channel as that always helps me out. And in the details, you'll find links. So if you would like to support, if you would like to give tips or donation that helps me out, helps me to buy a cup of coffee, helps me buying gas, helps me to keep this job going because it doesn't pay. So thank you very much. And I wish you all a great day. Love you all.